Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to 3D track images into any videos. So once you have your clip in your timeline right here, you want to go ahead and select it and you want to right click on it and go up to track and stabilize and track camera. This may take a while depending on how long your clip is. Mine is, um, I think 33 frames, but you can see up here or no, it's 246 frames. So it's at 3% right now and it's just going to be loading you don't really have to do anything at this step so i'm just going to catch you guys once it's done all right so i just finished tracking the points so now solving the camera and as you can see all the points are showing up on our footage now but they're a little small so i'm just going to go up here and make the track point size uh, let's see here 500 600 that's pretty good now you can actually see all the points so if i scrub through this footage right here all of them are tracked onto these different like buildings and cars right here. So after you do that, you want to go up here and hit create camera. So it's going to create another layer, which is your camera. And then we're just going to drag in our image right here. This is just a stock image of After Effects. And then we're going to go here, this uh, like 3D kind of cube image and check that. It's in the center of our frame right now, so we're going to want to move it over to the left. So I'm going to open up our positioning value. So by hitting P on your keyboard and then also rotation. So if you move this, this is the Z axis. So it's going to move it backwards a bit. Just move it over here. There we go. Mess with the rotation. Not that one. Something like that. Maybe position it up a little bit over. So now if I play it back, it should just be tracked right there. That's looking pretty good. If you're wanting to add more images to motion track, you can just drop them into your timeline like this and then just do the same thing. Just select this cube right here and then go into your positioning and then rotation mess with this a little bit. I can move this one forward. But it goes out of the frame right there. So we want to put it back over here, rotate it like that. And then you can also change the scale. So you can have a smaller, bigger like that. So then when I play it back, you can see that this one and that one are both motion tracked to the same clip. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of how to use this motion tracking tool inside of After Effects. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment down below and peace out.